What is up, everybody? All right here, and we are back, of course, with Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Today we are going to be running Magma Core Hazard 4, and we're going to be running a gun I haven't really played much of yet. So we're going to be doing the Driller Foreman, and we're going to be using the Experimental Plasma Charger. Um, I just unlocked this gun. I got it overclocked. I don't really think I've put it in any videos, and I definitely haven't done a full build where we overclock it. So what we're going to do in this one is we're going to, it's going to be like some of my other videos. We're going to really <laughs> heavily focus on this gun. It's going to be the main priority. I'm going to try to get it as high a level as I can get it. You know, like hopefully we're pushing it to level 30, somewhere in that range. Uh, a lot of it's going to be RNG if we get, um, if we get the, you know, if we just get good level ups for it. But for the most part, we're going to focus very heavily on that gun and we're going to see if it can carry us through uh, Hazard 4. This is this is not an easy difficulty. It's it's a tough difficulty. It's a tough map. So let's see if this gun's strong enough. Um, what I do know about this gun is it kind of basically just shoots out a ball of plasma energy, and it damages anybody it goes through. It works kind of like a piercing weapon, but I think it does have status effect. I don't hmm. That's a, <laughs> that's a really good buff to take, but I honestly don't know what weapons we're going to take yet. Uh, Because the plasma is not going to be a status effect item, although I think you can get fire on it. So I don't... Man, I don't know. I guess we'll take it. Because we are prob we probably will, because a lot of his weapons are going to be status effect items. Again, wow. I guess we're I guess we're gonna go status effect. Uh, we're gonna get the plasma charger. Uh, that's gonna be our second weapon. But then the last two will make sure that they're a status effect ones. Let's make sure we do that. Or I guess even we could even maybe maybe get it as our third weapon now. Because now that I have 60% status effect damage, I kind of want to <laughs> keep doing this run, whether I see whether I see the plasma charger second or not. Let's get some more gold here, though, so we can get get our rerolls. This will give us enough to get a, quite a few rerolls here. Okay, perfect. That's gonna give us 60. Okay, so let's do our rerolls. Experimental Plasma Charger, second gun. Awesome. So now I'm going to take... For my last two guns, I'm going to take something with status effect damage. We're still not going to level it up too much, but who knows? Now that I have 60% extra status effect damage on them, they might just be... They might be okay just at their base level. Uh, so... Yeah, at least we'll have that. Okay, so we're going to do the fire rate. Anything to get this weapon stronger. So you can see it's shooting out these plasma balls, um, and it, it pierces through them. I think it has a certain amount. It it has a limit to it, though. It's not a time limit, either. I think it's almost... I haven't quite figured out exactly what it is. I don't know if it's if it passes through so... See, because look how it just disappeared. If it passes through so many enemies, it disappears? Um, I'm really not sure exactly how it works. If it does a certain amount of damage, then it goes away. Uh, it's one or the other. But I was a little bit disappointed by that because I was actually hoping that it would it would last the whole time. Like it had a time limit, you know, like a lifetime like some of these weapons do. Yeah, I don't... That was, that was a good drop because I don't want that to land on the boss. Uh, let's do the Nitra when we mine because we're a miner. Okay, we're always going to pick that weapon if it's of equal value than everything else. And now we're just going to farm XP. Alright, let's do the fire rate again. This is a pretty good start. We've gotten pretty good um, level ups here. We're going to do you. Okay, so... Okay, so this one is interesting because... I have seen this before. I have seen the Vortex Core, and it says it's now going to pull in a radius. EPC projectiles now pull 
in a radius around them. I'm not quite sure what that means because it doesn't look like it pulls in enemies, really. I don't know if it just doesn't work as it should, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Um, I've only tried it once and I didn't really get to rewatch my video or anything to see if it what it did. But it doesn't feel like it did much, so we'll, I'm going to take it here and you guys can kind of let me know what I'm missing here. Like, is it, it's not pulling in the, see, like, it's not pulling anything in. It's going right by these guys, and it's not doing anything. So I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be doing. I, okay, I guess it is, no, is that just how they're moving? I can't even tell if that's just how they're moving. Like, maybe it, it kind of is, like, it's staggering them a tiny bit, but it's not really pulling them. So I, I don't know. Either way, I'm not super impressed with it. See, it's not. I, I, I don't. I don't know. It doesn't really seem to do anything. And now I regret taking it because I don't really know what <laughs> what what I'm supposed to get out of that. I, I'd rather have it be freezing everybody. Like I could have taken. I could have taken it so it froze. You're really pissing off the bugs. They're getting angry. I know. Honestly, I don't even really care too much about upgrading this weapon, but... The Sabata is not one of my favorite weapons. Okay, so now we're going to do a status effect build. So let's go with the turret. Um... Yeah, definitely do the turret. The turret's a good weapon in general, so... And it's gonna have that fire. It's gonna get that 60% buff for the fire. Faster and faster. I'm just gonna keep mining through and hopefully we get uh, some nitra. Alright, let's keep picking this weapon. Alright, boss is about to die, so let's make sure we get his XP. Alright, so again, we're gonna keep taking this weapon pretty much all the time if we see an upgrade for it. The goal is to get this. Man, I really needed to do another lap because there's gonna be a lot of XP just lying here. This makes me sad how much XP is being left behind. Diving deeper, taking you to stage two. Level 18, we could have been higher for sure. Uh, we did do a pretty good job on getting resources, though, so I'm going to spend all my resources on this guy, getting him stronger. Okay, so now we can either burn or slow. Let's burn because that's going to be the status effect damage that we're going to be doing. Um, let's re-roll this because I want to keep doing this weapon. So we'll do reload speed basically for our last one. We'll do XP gain. We'll do projectile damage. Um, we can do fire. No, let's do damage for all. Yeah. Yeah, let's increase the damage by all. Okay. Now, hopefully, we can get this weapon overclocked. Uh, get the 
the full overclock by the end of this floor, we need five levels. And then once we do that, then I think we'll start getting our... We're still going to put a lot of points into this weapon. Like I said, we're going to try to get this to level 30 or something. We're going to try to get it as high as we can. But we can put it, we can start putting some points into... Um... Man, that was a lot of nitro right there. We can put some points into the our status effect items too, like our turret. Because I do want to at least get those overclocked, you know? Let's at least get that to level 6 so I can get the first overclock. For this last one, we'll probably get. Again, I'm not gonna re. I don't think I'm really gonna re-roll. I guess it. We'll see what we get. But I'll probably pick. I'd like to get the, you know, the sludge pump or something. I think that would be a good one. So, <laughs> we've already now we got 90% status effect damage. We're basically an interrogator without having to roll the interrogator. We have 90% status effect damage buffs. Too bad that's not the build we're going for. Uh, reload speed. Alright, let's do... Hmm, this is a good one. Let's do the crit chance. Yeah, we'll do you to get you up to level 16. Just need one, I need one more mushroom. There we go. Objective completed. Those all give a, a little bit of tiny bit of XP for us. So, you know, oh, no, I wanted to get that last. I literally, it literally just popped right in front of me. Okay, let's do the reload speed. Okay, we're gonna, I, I guess we could do the neurotoxin grenade. I think I would prefer the, the sludge pump, though. Okay, yeah. Okay, now we get this guy overclocked. So, we have two options. We can either set the ground on fire, which... <laughs> Honestly, I might pick that one uh, because of that status effect damage we have since we have 90%. Uh, I really wanted to do this one, though, where the plasma balls are going to split into smaller projectiles. Um, what did I pick on this one already? Okay, so we already picked the hot plasma, though. So we are doing fire damage t to them already, right? So yeah, maybe maybe I do the extra balls then. Maybe we do that. Maybe yeah, maybe I do the extra balls then if we're already doing fire damage to them. I think that's how that's going to work. Wow, 35% damage, that's a good one. Okay, let's keep doing the sledge pump, and hopefully we can get a... So, I just want to verify, like, my... My plasma balls are putting people on fire, correct? I believe that is what is happening. Yes. 
So now whenever whenever the plasma ball expires, it's going to shoot out. Um, it's going to break into th you see it right there. It just breaks into a bunch of other little balls. And so now I assume those are going to be setting. Yeah, so they're going to be setting everybody on fire then. That's that should be pretty good. That should be pretty good. All right, let's do. This is why I wanted to get that magnet last. There's, man, there's gonna be so much XP here. Hopefully we get the extra beam, thank you. Uh, I think the worst part about these status effect builds is, okay, we're gonna take the legendary on you. Uh, the hardest part about these is you're just killing everything across the entire map. So unless you get a magnet, you're just, you're probably gonna miss out on so much XP. You're going to have to do loops. I tried to do loops, but again, we're going to be killing the boss too, kind of <laughs> kind of accidentally too because of all the AoE damage we're doing. But we do have our weapon up to level 20 and we're only on the third floor. Yeah, we can do the crit chance. Let's start upgrading this guy to level 6. Okay, I can't pass up on a legendary for my main weapon, so we do have to take that, and that's perfect because that gives us that. Then we can reroll, and we'll do the XP game. With these fire turrets, I really for my first one. I want to see either um, either the extra beams or they move along with me. Those would be ideal. It's gonna be a big chain. Where's all the resources at, though? I don't think I've seen one pile of gold or nitro yet. See, so all these plasma balls are just gonna be <laughs> flying around, hitting everybody, and then setting them all on fire. It's just, it seems like this is gonna be a pretty solid build, hopefully. Here's some nitro, and of course it's in the middle of the lava. Alright, we'll do you again. Alright, I'm gonna take the health. I love the BLT, great item. Oh my gosh, I <laughs> I got hit by like every one of those balls. All right, we'll do the turrets follow me around. All right, we're not in a good spot here because I'm stuck and we don't have we don't have like a huge weapon to kill all these guys. There's so much XP. I really hope we see a magnet here. <laughs> look at look how much XP is just sitting here for us. We'll do the weapon range the range on you. Man, <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. My my own orb just scared the crap out of me. 
<laughs> scared me so much. I thought I was gonna run right into it and it was gonna hit me. Oh, oh man, I thought that was so close. I thought, I thought that guy was gonna explode already. Okay, we can do the range again. I gotta be honest, my own purple balls are really scaring me here. This. It's just gonna be piles and piles of XP all the time. All right, let's do. What's our critical? Fifty-four percent. This whole map is just covered with it. The whole, whole entire map. The whole map is just covered with XP. It's probably like three level, three or four level ups right there. If we could just get magnets each time. Okay, um, that was a bad resource run. So let's um. Show me more. It's not like I didn't try. We just I felt like we didn't see any. Okay, let's do another reroll. Okay, so let's do. Oh, we can afford both of these. So let's do. You and then you. Yesterday. You know the drill, miner. Fulfill your objectives. And let's get out of here. It's quiet. Almost two. want to get this um I do want to get this turret to uh two beams. We already have it m mobile. Getting two beams would be really cool now too. Let's just pray we get a magnet this this floor. Swarm detected. Get ready. They'll be with you shortly. Here. Feels like I'm not getting any relief to go try to do what I need to do. Oh, that hit me? Oh my gosh, that hit me for hard, too. That hit me 128 HP. Alright. Take the armor there. See, this is why we need those magnets. <laughs> this is crazy. It's crazy how much XP is just lying around on the map that I have to go try to get now. Alright, 
we're gonna. Tr I'm, I have to try to complete this quest and get that supply drop before we kill this boss. Um, let's do, yeah, let's do the damage. Why not? I feel like we need it. This makes me so sad. This, this literally break. Oh man, look at all these supplies. Oh my gosh, there's too much. What do I get? Do I get the nitrate? Do I get the gold? Do I get the XP? We're gonna spend all our nitric here anyway, so we'll gather up for the last four. All right, let's get you. Let's do the damage and reload speed. All right, last four. Uh, oh man, gotta be kidding me. That's a bummer. No, these are the ones I didn't want. I wanted the extra beam. All right, we'll do the mine walls to clear us extra space. Let's, um, I'm going to heal and then I'll, oh, I incorrectly did that math. Now I'm broke and can't afford anything. Um, yeah, okay. That's a bummer. All right, let's get a little bit of nitro for that damage. <laughs> We can take a little bit here. Let's clear out. We're going to clear out the area, though. That's what we're really going to do here. I want to, like, save that nitro. be a nice big slow boy but we're doing an amazing job of clearing out this area because of our turrets uh so that'll help that'll 100 percent help with the final boss here um i'm not gonna get this nitra i don't want to be too slow i think we're at the perfect speed right now to where we're kind of fine do i have anything for gold Nitra, Nitra, crit chance for Nitra, damage for Nitra, no gold stuff though. We can use the gold for rerolls though if we need it. Ah oh, no, I picked up that extra Nitra. I forgot that my turrets can mine the walls too, so that's why that's why that Nitra was down there. Do the crit chance. Okay, let's do.
This isn't gonna last that long, but I guess we'll just take that. Although I guess we could, can clear the boss right here, so yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we're oh my gosh, we're shredding them. Well, I don't know if shredding's the right word, but <laughs> we're doing good. We're, we're doing really, really good damage, and we're gonna be just fast enough to where he's not gonna be able to hit us. Let's get that. Let's get that extra nitra. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. This is this is working out great. It worked out so well that we were able to clear out this area too so well. So it makes it so much easier to just dodge the boss when we need to. Wow, we destroyed him. Yeah, let's get that movement speed. <laughs> let's go. That was so good. That was such a good final four. That was way better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, all that extra damage really, really added up. Um, basically doing 200% extra damage because of the Nitra and that gold buff. That was awesome. That was a really good clear. That was pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, that was okay damage. Um, 16 million, not insane. Not insane, but good. Uh, everything else didn't really do a lot. Well, we did like fire with this guy, although a lot of our weapons were doing, at least these two were doing fire. Uh, we, man, we barely did any acid damage. I thought we would have done more, especially since I got two, especially since we had like 90% status effect damage. That's pretty low for what I thought it would be. And we, we even got this weapon to level 12 still, and you only did 436,000 and then 1 million in poison. That's not a lot. That pretty much puts this at the lowest damage item like even our level three sabata almost like almost out damaged it if you add the acid into here that's only like 1.5 million even though the sabata we got first but still that's yeah that's that's low yeah i mean it was our last weapon so oh well but there we go that was a good run um yeah i'm not super impressed by the the experimental plasma charger uh it does seem like a good weapon i don't think it would be your main weapon though uh it's probably a real it, it seems like it's probably a really 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 good secondary gun uh because especially if you can get it doing you know because it does when it does the plasma you're still keeping that plasma damage but then you're burning them so it's putting that burn status effect on them so you're not losing like your damage type on it um and if you can get it splitting into smaller balls, that seems pretty good, too, because then you're splitting, putting those status effects on so many different people on so many different bugs. So if you pick the cold or the fire, you're probably going to be doing good like CC or uh, dot damage. So that seems like it seems like a really good secondary gun. I don't even though it was our main gun here, I don't think it would really carry us much further. I don't know if I could you might be able to do it like crystalline cavern hazard five i don't know if i could do it maybe i don't know maybe we did get lucky there at the end though because i had 200 percent damage on that last boss so that really <laughs> that really made that last floor seem a lot easier than it might have been otherwise because 200 percent damage boosts that's huge we got it from the pay to win and then we had it from the the nitra so yeah okay Okay, yeah, solid run. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, please subscribe, please comment. Every little bit helps. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.